There's a couple of heavyweights here. Super heavyweights, I should say. But Grant Cribb is the man in the black with the white up against Auckland Amatangi. Both these boys, big, big punches. And you could be expected to think that this one could end up like a couple of the earlier fights by not lasting the distance. Both men got extremely hard punches. Both have scored knockout wins before in their career. And these boys aren't wasting any time with introductions either. And both very fast for their weight. Oh, look out for the big bombs straight from bell number one. And each of these boys knows every time they get in the ring, one mistake could be lights out. Grant weighed in at 95, as did Auckland. And there goes a couple of those big bombs that I was talking about. Grant trying to work on the calf muscle of Auckland. using a good straight left. Grant the heavier. Oh, good left right. Grant looked like he's in a bit of trouble. And a good tactic to get in close because some big bombs connected. Grant Cribb looks fully recovered, but it looked like Auckland had him in all sorts of trouble. And... Oh! Both men let go with the bullets of kicks. Auckland Amatangi in the blue corner was the one that come out on top. Well, Auckland's got, had a very impressive record. He started his career with a knockout win over Willie Hohunga. And uh, he then had a, a very tough fight against Terry Rippey. It was a loss in that. He come out and knocked out Gary Hart, one of the big pitchers of the game. He's fought uh, Mark Hamilton. I'm sorry, he was knocked out by Gary Hart, I should say. That was a very much an upset. It spurred him on to better things. He's been to the King's Cup over in Thailand. He's unfortunate, like a lot of our fighters were, to strike some gold medalists on the way through. Auckland run into the Russian who fought in the final. Tonight he wants to avenge that loss. He works for New Zealand Post, and he loves all sport, and tonight, he loves Muay Thai. Uh, starting to use the ring very good is Auckland Amatangi, Grant Cribb up on his toes. A slight reach advantage. Big right hand, Grant Cribb has no, shows no effects and tries to get Auckland in the neutral corner. Terry Hill steps in between the big men. Auckland not interested in the niceties. Oh. Well, I think Grant did the wrong thing by getting up so quick because he's in all sorts of trouble now. Auckland hard on attack. Grant got expecting Terry Hill to step apart, but uh, the fight carried on. And oh, Grant got a right hand in there. Goes downstairs and trying to get those punches in. Not favouring any particular hand, hitting with big bombs with both left and right. Grant knows that it's important to keep the hands up. And 
and he's got knockouts to his credit too so Auckland had better do the same thing and we do follow Grant Cribb back to the Marty Taranaki corner the machine operator at a dairy factory he loves surfing golf and going to the gym actually does a bit of modeling work and he's hoping that Auckland Amatangi's big punches don't put him out of business He's fought Gary Hart and had a couple of wins over Gary. He lost a uh, decision against Duncan Wood for the New Zealand Super Heavyweight title last year. A powerful man, fought between 95 and 98 kgs. Knows how to end the fight by the short route. Looked like he was in a little bit of trouble halfway through round number two, but as you can see, his uh, eyes are clear, he's up and to go, and believes he's still got the winning of the fight in him. Goes both men going downstairs. Oh, big right hand from Auckland, taken on the forehead. Grant trying to get some of his own. Eh? It's a real barroom brawl out there. <laughs> <laughs> and Terry saying, leave the judo at home. Can't go downstairs. Ah. Oh. Both men giving away the uh, body shots. Both head hunting here in round number three. Both want to end by the, uh, the way of the heavyweights. Auckland saying, come on, come forward. Grant said, yeah, I'm going to oblige. Oh! <laughs> Halfway through the third and final round. Time running down. Terry Hill brings him back. Not much time left. Good kick to the midriff by uh, Grant. And the bell goes and we'll leave it to the judges. Auckland Amatangi had a particularly good round two. And as always, Grant Cribb in excellent shape, trying right to the very bell. Judges, Ethan Shep, Andy Duncan and Tojo Dixon. Auckland Amatangi and probably that uh, exit round number two. Both men threw big bombs, both proved that they could take them. And don't be surprised if you see these two in facing each other again. A very happy Auckland Amatangi gets revenge for uh, that loss against the Russian over in Thailand. And I think he was very happy that he's back on the winning streak.